Yeah, I think I think I think a lot just set up again. Yeah, I'm and, sure. And then just like one little thing in the takeaway Perfect. that we can get better at, it. you know. Let's go over here in the shade. I mean, so so here, here's what I look at. Like when I when I look at this, mm -hmm. I look at a guy who, you know, to me, if you set up the right way, you'd be out in front of this golf ball. And and, and what I mean by that is the ball's a little bit back, the stance is narrow. Mm -hmm. But like if we just get a little wider, move the ball just a little bit ahead. So here's what I like: holding the ahead. golf club perpendicular to your body, mm -hmm. not only to take your grip because you'll grip it always more square but also just right here from zipper, so you always can identify the middle of your stance in okay. the center of your body. So, you know, if you're sitting here looking at eight, we're, you know, moving that up now about three-fourths of an inch to, you know, to okay. an inch in front. And there's, there's, there's where ball position should be. But then as far as width of stance, a good idea for you would just be to get an alignment rod, mm -hmm. put two dots on the outsides of your shoulders, and here's the cool thing. The outsides of your feet to the outsides of your shoulders for wedges, middle of feet to the outsides of shoulders for uh, for irons. And if you saw middle of feet to the outsides of shoulders is more in this range, you're in here. So whenever you're centered like this, whenever, or I'm sorry, whenever you're narrow like this, and then the ball's like an inch back, I mean, you're, the center of your body's already in front of that. Mm -hmm. So you have to really like, you know, watch, I'll show you what you have to do here. So you lean back a little bit, mm -hmm. we get here, and like, watch how, look how out in front of it we are. As Wait. far as like, we're just, you know, our body is just, Oh, yeah. Moving out in front of it. Let me redraw oh, that yeah. line. But we're just—that's where we're going to have to stand up, kind of stall out the hips for a little bit, and try to throw those hands at it. Just widen out, not a lot, just an inch on both that's sides. That's easy for me to do. That's more comfortable for me. Perfect. To be honest, I would then keep this right here centered, kick the hips forward, mm -hmm. and your hands can move a little bit with it, so you're a little more engaged, right? Cool. Okay. That's where you need to be there. And all I would do, bud, is I would just only thing I would do is the last part of this, mm -hmm. I would just in the takeaway, go ahead and grab the club. I would just keep it a little bit more that way mm -hmm. than I would initially just go that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do that outsides of shoulders. And then you just have, you know what's great? Once again, I'm gonna repeat it for, for everybody here. Outsides of feet to the outsides of shoulders for wedges, middle of feet to outsides of shoulders for irons, and then what's great is insides of feet to the outsides of shoulders for woods. Perfect. And you just have the center dot. So we'll have three dots, right? Yeah, and the center yeah. dot's where wedges are. Uh -huh. The front dot is where the driver is, uh -huh. and everything just lives right in between. Right. A little wider, a little further up. So there's the good width. Yeah, and see, that's just a little wider. The ball's a little more forward. Yeah, that, that's better. Yep, and leave your chest right where it is, and then bump the hips forward. There you go, right there. That, now we're in business, buddy. Yeah, and I don't have to do this. No, right? you don't have to it's tilt just back. And, just... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, feels way better. Perfect setup right there. It's pretty. Oh, thank you. That's better. Beautiful. That was so good right there. I got that one. Straightest one. You want to help me here with a five iron? See how, you, how far yeah, up? And, and just give me a little, width, a little bit more width. More width. Yeah, right there. Easy. There right. we go. There we go. I can do that. That's, that's exactly where we need to be. Hey, come on, come on over for uh, the face on. Just give, give, give our viewer a... Look, that's a five iron in his hands right there, you guys. That's a great setup right there. Good setup. And that's him with that ball forward of where he had it, so you can imagine. It's too far back. The only things that I'm thinking about after the setup, because once you set up, you're set up. You don't have to think about that anymore. Is hands. How do you describe this right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hand straight back, club out in front of you. <laughs> hand straight back, club out in front of you. Yeah, you don't have to think about anything after that. That is so good right there. That was a definition of a release cut right there. Yeah. Go where normal uh -huh. is. is normal. normal would be like a four yard fade for me. Okay. There's Ball normal. Drop. Yep. And then with a draw, I'm probably going to move it. An inch back, maybe. And then just close that stance a little close bit. Close it a little there bit. There it is. Yep, there it is. And then you just swing down your feet. Boom. Oh. Excuse me. Dude, you know what's funny? 
you just needed to walk yourself through that process exactly like that because that was all you needed to do. Yeah. The one before was just the same exact swing mm -hmm. with a little bit more of your normal setup yeah. with you thinking draw and it just went dead straight. Really? And then that one, you actually shaped it with your setup and that's why that one left on the same line. Inch back. Shot tracer. Slightly closed. Last two, get those. Yeah, normal. Inch back, slightly closed. And then you just swing down your feet. That's how to shape a draw. Guys. Let's keep it simple. Club face square. Club face where you want the ball to finish. Feet where you want it to start. And then you just swing down your feet. Golf is simple. Life until you get on the PGA Tour is not. <laughs> it's beautiful. Feels simple too. Very simple. Got some pictures of Kev down there. Yep, I got that one. Better setup too. It's way better, dude. Yeah. It's it's so nice. I see the slow-mo. See the, see the sequence. Oh. Sequential. Yeah, that's going to be, you're going to hit a lot of good shots from right there, buddy. So a little close, a little further back. Bump it. I love that. And then just right down your feet line. And there's a little draw. Yeah, true. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, like that's a lot of guys think that, oh, hey, three was just simply for a hole that I need a shorter shot off the tee. That's not how these guys always think. The three wood draws for a lot of these guys. They like that, the driver let it cut. So a lot of times they're pulling through it out, not because of the length of hole, but simply because the shot demanded a draw there. Yeah, I'd say that's 90% of guys, to be honest with you. 90% of guys, he says out there. Because you know? so many guys hit, almost everybody hits fades with their drivers now. Mm -hmm. When you get to a dog leg left, can't play a fade you need to see something that that turns right to left and to be honest when you draw a three wood doesn't go that much shorter than cutting yeah, a driver exactly so. right and especially the way these three woods are made these days oh yeah oh my gosh yeah rocket chips they are all right let's hit a little lower is that good ball position that for is a great draw? great ball position okay, yep great perfect setup right there buddy let's get a little lower draw oh on command all right, hey. cool. And then that, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something else you needed there? Yeah. No, 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 it's just up for that because I want to I get some feedback from our, from our viewers and our followers. Uh, I, I think it's important that you guys let us know what you want. You guys tell us when you want certain videos, we give you that, but, oh, what a good swing that was. But please uh, let me know if you think sitting down with the guys and hearing some stories on a couple of the videos would be a cool idea. I think, I think it'd be fun.